Hey guys, um, I am under extreme attack right now. Um, not just not just on YouTube, and you guys don't even see all the comments, all the attacks, because I block and remove those people. But um, they did something happened to my computer on February. It started on February 11th. Um, it's actually started when I was making that video for you guys. I was having all these problems. My computer kept freezing up, and it's been happening for several days now. And now today, on the 14th, I can't even ac access my computer. I'm on my old computer right now. And my old computer, I can't. all I can do is make it, videos like this. I can't even... Um, I can't show you anything. I can't do anything on this computer because it's... Re it's beyond slow okay and now I've started having problems on this computer too just like I was having two days ago but my other computer I can't even access it I turned it on and it's just a red screen I can't access any of my documents or anything so I am really freaking out right now okay um, but I wanted to tell you guys something um, Please, please go look at that video that I uploaded on February 11th, and please look at the links below that video, okay? Look at the links that are below that video, um, because there's so much information down there, and there's all these charts and timelines that, that go into everything. If you want to see the charts and the timelines, you can go to that video that I uploaded February 11th, or you can go to the other video that I uploaded um, about the Super Bowl power outage in March 22nd and and in that video I have the grand timeline and in the one that I uploaded on February 11th is the sh is the chart and that chart is not something that I came up with that's that's God's timeline in that that's the biblical timeline starting on the actual fulfillments of, of scripture and that's what that chart is okay but what I wanted to tell you guys is that um, my um, I, I was I was looking into um, Daniel. I was looking into uh, I was looking at Daniel twelve one and um, and uh, please um, in that video that I uploaded on February eleventh, there's a link at the very very bottom that goes to the concordance and please go verify everything that I'm saying to you I'm sorry that I can't show it to you right here but I was studying that again and it says in Daniel 12 1 it says and at that time Michael shall stand up and um, and there shall be a time of trouble such as there never was before I'm paraphrasing um, and at that time thy people shall be delivered that word delivered means saved by flight I've gone over that in many other videos but that word time, and also the word trouble means tribulation. I've gone over that before. It parallels Matthew 24 when Jesus said, and at that time there will be great tribulation such as there never was before. Okay, it's the same thing in Daniel 12.1. But that word in Daniel 12.1, that word time, if you look at that in the concordance, that word, um, the primitive root word of that actually means pass by. And that really got me because I remembered that in Daniel 9.27, that word um, sacrifice, the word that is normally translated as sacrifice in Daniel 9.27, when, when it says, and he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease, that word, um, the original Hebrew word, it means sacrifice, but it also means all these other things. And one of the meanings for that word is the Passover. Okay, um, so in Daniel 12.1, it's saying that at that time, there shall be the tribulation. And it's saying at that time, and the word time itself, the primitive root of that word means to pass by. So it's almost like it's saying, and at the pass by, there will be tribulation. And um, again, that word, um, the word Passover like you can find the word Passover in, for example, Joshua 5, where it talks about the Passover. And right after the Passover, they marched around Jericho, and then, and then they blew the horns on the seventh day. That was Passover. So um, they blew the horns on the seventh day, and then, all the, all the, then the walls of Jericho fell, and the people ascended up. Go look at Joshua 5 and 6. 
Um, um, so that word Passover, that the primitive root word of that word, also means to pay, it means to pass over. It means to literally pass over. It represents when God um, passed over the Israelites, the houses of the Israelites. So I just thought that was interesting that Daniel 9.27 is saying that he will cause the Passover. It could be saying that he will cause the Passover to cease. Do you see what I'm saying? Because that word itself means the Passover. The word that they normally translate as sacrifice, it also means the Passover. So he will cause the, he will cause the Passover to cease. And I'm wondering if that's what it means. But here's the other thing. Um, um, the seventh feet, the seventh month matches the first month. So um, the, the feasts that occur in the seventh month occur on the first day of the month, on the ninth and tenth day, and on the um, 15th through the 22nd, I think it is. Um, so there's the tr Feast of Trumpets, which is two days, the first and the second day of the seventh month. Then you have the Feast of Atonement, which occurs on the ninth and the tenth day. And remember, the days start in the evening. So it starts on the evening of the ninth until the evening of the tenth. And then the Feast of Sukkot is a seven-day feast. And so those feast days match the events on the first month. So the first month and the seventh month match. So on the first day of the first month, is when Moses raised the ta raised the tabernacle and put the ark inside, and then on the tenth day of the first month was the day that Jesus rode into Jerusalem on the Lamb. That was Nisan ten, when the Israelites would um, take the unblemished lamb into the house, and then on Nisan fourteen, the fourteenth day was when Jesus was crucified, and that's Passover, and then unleavened the, the feast of unleavened bread, which is seven days. Um, happens on the 15th. I'm trying to understand it. it. It's confusing because their days start in the evening. So it either starts in the evening of the 14th or the evening of the I'm not sure, unleavened bread. But unleavened bread is seven days. Do you understand what I'm saying? And the standard Jews, they celebrate their Passover and it's like a seven-day feast. So they have their Passover and then unleavened bread is seven days right after that. Um, uh, seven days of unleavened bread. And it, and it represents the walls of Jericho, what, what we find in Joshua where it says that, that they marched around the city and then blew the trumpets on the seventh day and on the seventh day the people ascended. But what I'm trying to tell you guys is that the Jews normally celebrate their standard Passover happens at the end of March this year. And so maybe that's what it's talking about. I have, there are several correlations with the chart and um, with God's fulfillments and the chart that came out of those fulfillments and also and like I said please go watch those other videos but there's also that grand timeline in that one video that I made um, well I had that chart that that grand timeline that I've made it's in it's in a lot of videos but the most recent one and I'm sorry I can't access my documents but the most recent one the most recent timeline is, is you can find it in that video that I uploaded about March 22nd um, about the Super Bowl power outage. Okay, so in that chart you're going to see that um, that um, the grand timeline points to this three-day period of March 20th, 21st, and 22nd. But there's all these other associations with the 31st. If you look at Exodus, there's a scripture in Exodus, and you got to go watch my other video to see it, because I can't remember exactly which scripture it is now. But the scripture actually says that they're supposed to start their their Passover on a certain day, and it's different from how they normally do it. Anyway, you guys got to go watch that other stuff because I can't remember all the exact scriptures right now. But um, but my point is, okay, my grand point is that. Remember how I told you that um, if we started the first day of the first month on the Daniel 12:11 fulfillment on August 2nd, that um, trumpets would have been January 27th, 28th. Atonement would have been February 4th and 5th when we had the eight-point earthquake. 
and the first day of Sukkot would have been on February 11th when the when the Pope resigned and the last day of Sukkot would be on um, the seventh day of Sukkot would be I think I'm getting this right I'm sorry like I said I can't look at my calendar right now but I think the seventh day of Sukkot starts on the evening of Saturday Saturday evening okay but get this Passover Remember, I just told you how the seventh month matches the first month. So Sukkot matches Passover. Okay. So um, the first day of Passover would have been on the, would have started on the evening of sat last Saturday evening and um, would start. And the seventh day of Passover would start on tomorrow evening, on Friday evening. I hope you can understand what I'm trying to tell you guys. And I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm really freaking out. Um, I mean, they ruined my computer. I don't know when I'm going to get my computer back, if ever. I mean, I don't have the money to go out and buy some new computer or something. And I mean, I, I just, I don't know what I'm going to do. And so I apologize. I can't access any documents or anything right now. But um, all of my other videos have all the timelines and the charts in them. And I just, I just don't, I don't know if it means anything. But Passover would, if, if the full moon on January 27th, if that was the first day of the first month, then Passover, the 14th day, would be on, um, would have been, please forgive me if I'm not getting this right, because like I said, I'm not looking at my calendar, but it, I think that it was the evening of last Saturday, and then the seventh day of Passover would be, um, would be on the evening of this coming Friday, so the evening of the 15th, so February 15th, in the evening of February 15th, would be the seventh day of Passover when they marched around the wall, Jericho. First, they marched around Jericho for six days and then they blew the trumpets on the seventh day of Passover. So the seventh day of Passover. Okay, now that's just something that I think might mean something but I don't know whether it does or not but like I said this the Jews celebrate their standard Passover at the end of March um, but you know this chart that we've been looking at that came from God's fulfillments God's fulfillments um, that chart it, it, it connects into everything it connects into the standard Jewish calendar but it connects into all of this other stuff and um and it, it's just i i just had to tell you guys i just had to tell you guys that there's there's so much going on and and i don't know um i don't know what's going to happen but i just the amount of attacks that i'm getting the the severity and the severity of the attacks i guess that kind of I feel like it's maybe confirming that I hit on something that's much bigger than I even realize.